What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So today's video, I want to go over this new formation in the Saints playbook in Madden 24. So if you enjoyed this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. So first and foremost, I do need to say I'm in the Saints offensive playbook. Again, I'm in the Saints offensive playbook now for some reason they have it to where current gen and next gen do not have the same plays in the same playbooks so on current gen i actually am not sure what formation this is in in current gen because it's not in the saints playbook on current gen but it is in the obviously in the saints playbook on next gen so i don't know what's going on it was that way for my last video with the defensive formation so i think this year they're just doing it to where current gen has its own plays and next gen has its own plays that's the way it's seeming and i don't know why they did it that way it would just make more sense just to you know have both have the same foot plays and formation so i don't know why they did it that way but we just got to roll with it hopefully they update it throughout the year and get it to where they're on the same page so uh if you're watching this video in the future it may already be fixed if you're watching it now it's not fixed <laughs> so uh moving forward when you first come to this it's going to be on a tight end three package so what you want to do is uh you want actually want to switch this to put your quarterback in now unless you're playing mutt or something or if you're playing with the saints or if you're playing with a team that has a quarterback caliber player at the tight end three position then you can do that but unless you're on mutt you know way later in the year this really you really going to want to put it on your quarterback so i did pick the chiefs because patrick mahomes is a little bit mobile but he also has hot route master now you do not need hot route master whatsoever and you're going to see that in this video um only thing i suggest is just i would suggest having one slot apprentice it helps but you don't need it at all, okay? You can run this completely stock, um, and you guys are, well, not stock, but you can run adjustments, okay? Normal route adjustments. So you're gonna be able to see that in this video. Now, I love this offense as a short down offense. I don't, you please do not use this as a every single down, every single play offense. You can, but it's not meant for that, okay? You really just wanna switch it, you know, you wanna just switch to this offense. You can't audible to it, so you have to go to it, but you wanna go to it every so often, okay? Because of how versatile to this formation is. This formation is great in short yardage. It's excellent in short yardage. So if you're ever in short yardage, that's when I go to this. I really should've called this video, you know, the best short yard offense, because it really is one of the best, honestly. So, uh, let me stop hyping it up so I can kinda talk about it. So. The Saints RPO, the Saints power RPO is probably one of the best RPOs in the game right now, I'm gonna say, only because it's a quarterback style RPO, which is extremely rare, and they actually block really well, surprisingly. So the quarterback zone left is good, and the Saints verticals is excellent because we're able to actually hot route people. That's what makes it excellent. So uh, with all that digested, let's go on and get into this. So most of the time when you come out and empty, your opponent sees empty triple stack, they're not going to think of this unless you're just spamming it. So what they're going to do, they're going to come out in a lighter defense. So what I mean by that, they're going to come out in maybe a dime set. They're going to come out in a dollar set. Sometimes they may come out in a 3-3 normal set. Sometimes, sometimes 3-3 cups, sometimes. But realistically, they're not going to come out in these heavy sets unless they just want to run heavy sets the whole game. But we'll get into that in a second. So first, we're going to talk about light sets. Most of the time, you're going to get like a cover three shell most of the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to triple stack, normal package. And first, I just want to show you the Saints RPO or Saints power RPO, right? So when to run this play, okay? You want to run this when your opponent's running a lot of zone coverage, okay? You don't really want to run this versus man coverage unless they're all out man blitzing you. Then it's okay to run this, and you'll see why I say that throughout the video. And also, just real quick, I do have ebooks. Um, I'm working on Madden 24 ebooks. I don't know when they'll be out, but um, I like to take my time, make sure I'm giving you guys a good quality ebook before I put it out. But I do have Madden 23 ebooks on my website, allthingsmadden.com. The link is in the description. So just, you know, check out if you still play Madden 23, if you still rock with it, you know, I have it on there. But keep checking it every so often, and I will announce when I have Madden 24 ebooks available. And also, Golden Mills is on the website as well. He does have an ebook on there. So if you want, if you're interested in Madden 24 ebook really early, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and cop it, um, and we'll have that ready for you in a little while. So with all that out the way i promise you we're getting into the video okay so uh you want to run this versus zone coverage uh i like it best versus it it's not really it's, it's okay versus man but i'm just going to stop talking and just kind of show you okay so uh what's cool about this play is where it depends on where the user is is uh how you want to judge it so um, I'm going to show you a couple things after replay. So what's cool is if they don't have a hard flat, we're going to be able to throw this because these two actually do a great job of blocking. And also your tackles this year actually will block on screens. 
Um, that happens a lot. I know you might think it's fluke, but that really happens a lot. And that's uh, that's uh, Lawrence right there. Uh, I can't remember his name. Demarcus Lawrence. I believe that's him. Um, am I saying his name right? Because I'm, I'm actually going to. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Demarcus Lawrence. Anyways, uh, they just do a really good job of blocking. So unless they have a hard flat, that's the only way they're going to stop that. Um, now, what's cool about this quarterback play is I can actually take it whichever way I want to. So if I want to take it that way, sometimes you actually can get a nice little cut move. And it all depends on who you have at quarterback. But what you were able to see, uh, what's important there is that we can choose where we want to go. Right. So imagine doing this with like Lamar Jackson or somebody. Right. And every now and again, if you have a good offensive line, they will get a pancake. And I'm really glad he fumbled because if you're going to be doing this play with the RPO in particular or the quarterback one, you need to have conservative turned on. OK, um, I'll probably do that after um, I show you this. So I want to show you versus man coverage and then I'll show you versus man blitz to see why I told you that. So nine times out of ten, your opponent is going to be here when they're, if they're running man coverage. So I'm going to put him in a, a spy, and then I'm just going to use her. I'm going to put the user right there, okay? So versus man coverage, it's okay, but, uh, you know, it just you have to read it, okay? Because it, it literally just depends. Now, obviously, right there, we were able to skate out, but that's where you want to play around with the user at when it, when it comes to man coverage, okay? So the user is a lot of times going to be in the middle. And keep in mind, I could have ran straight if I wanted to. They actually give you a little bit of freedom. So I could have ran straight, or I could have followed 65, or I could have bent it outside. It all just depends. A lot of times you're just going to be able to read that block, and then you're going to be off to the races most of the time. But again, this is a short yardage offense. Please don't run this every single play. You want to surprise your opponent, right? And then um, I want to show you the spinner blitz real quick. Well, not spinner blitz, but I want to show you versus an all-out man blitz. Now, versus all-out man blitzes, you have to keep in mind, somebody has to play the running back, right? So if nobody's going to play the running back, a lot of times the user will be here if they're going to all-out blitz you, and they're going to be trying to bait you to throw this, and they're going to try to pick you off, if that makes sense. So uh, be very, very, very careful versus, um, you know, all-out man blitz. Which is why I'm going to show you about the passing plays here in a second. I know I'm taking a while on this, okay? So um, just know, versus all-out blitz, you're not going to be able to run it with your quarterback. But if your user does not go attack that running back, then we can actually can throw this running back route out here, as you can tell. If they don't go play it themselves versus an all-out blitz, we have the option to just throw it here and you, you'll be able to spin out, go off to the races, unless EA has something different to say. <laughs> so um, I want to show you this quarterback uh this quarterback one, the other run play that I have, and then we're gonna get into some passing concepts and that's gonna be the video. So I wanted to take the longest time talking about this run and when to run it and when to call it because you need to be using the run first with this. You need your, you want your opponent to be like, oh, he's coming on this empty formation to run. So when you start doing these passing setups, they're gonna be shocked, they're gonna be surprised. They're gonna be, oh wow, he's actually passing the ball. You know, so that's what, how you wanna use this. Now, this quarterback run, um, I like, it's okay versus zone, but I really love it versus man coverage, okay? So just kind of look at how we're able to kind of, you know, snake through that gap right there. And it's just it's just, it's just, just a really nice run, honestly. So I'll show you versus man coverage. And also, I want to show you versus uh, different defensive sets. So don't worry. I'm not just going to sit here and uh, light sets. I'm going to show kind of both of them. Now, every now and again versus man, that will happen. And again, it all depends on where the user is. I can't tell you how important it is where the because you're just basically reading this guy. That's all you're doing because if somebody's going to be playing man coverage versus formation, they're either going to be using him or they're going to be using a safety. And no matter what, you just have to make a read, okay? You just have to see where they're going to read, and you need to be on conservative. All we're looking to pick up is three or four yards when we run this play. That is all. We're not trying to break it to the house every time. That's not what this offense is about, okay? So now that we got that out the way, um, I want to show you the same thing, but we're going to speed it up a little bit. But I'm going to show you versus... Um, pretty much a tight formation. So like if somebody wants to line up in a heavy, let's say you ran this play too much and now they're like, okay, he's coming on empty triple stack. Let me go ahead and stack the box. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I put code for drop in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out and pinch buck up because you, you're just, you're gonna see that until you get tired of it. So we'll, we'll quickly go over this. So this is the RPO play, right? And this is all out man coverage. And again, when we know when we face all out blitz, we're gonna have to throw R1, right? So we're gonna throw that right there and then maybe try to, you know, make a play. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, okay? That's fine. But I still like the I like the pass the ball versus all out man coverage. And you'll see why here in a second, okay? Now that's all out man coverage. Now cover four drop, because sometimes they'll bait you, right? Um so let's just show cover four drop, and you're just gonna see right here where we're gonna be able to throw that if we want to. Um, and we also are gonna be able to keep it with our quarterback. 
and I'm gonna show you that here in a second now uh, some of you guys might feel like my videos are too long um, I respect it but I like to make sure that every single person understands what's going on and also if you have a really great center be expected pancake blocks with this play because uh, there's I don't know why but they really do a lot of pancakes uh, especially if you have a great matchup so um, I want to show you the quarterback um, zone one versus that just so you can see because these holes they can be wide open um, and that's what I want you to know that you can actually expose defenses with this particular play okay and I'm taking the most time with the runs because you need to be running the ball first and notice right there what happened that happened a lot of times too I was trying to fall but uh, remember you're on conservative okay be better than me be on conservative but I do want to show you this real quick uh, because even if a lot of times you what happen is they'll actually take their user and they'll hover this gap with this linebacker so uh, they'll kind of do this number and then they'll try to go out and a lot of times you can actually snake this like I call it snaking because you can just take it and go now sometimes they'll make a play obviously but you can tell the potential is there that's all we need remember this is a short yardage offense okay so um that's enough of this play now I want to get into the pass setups and everything like that so if you made it this far in the video thank you first of all um but this is probably the part that you really came for okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out and pinch bucko right because pinch bucko is still a really great defense uh people still really love it and what will happen is they're gonna run it like this they're just gonna press sometimes they'll baseline um to get that linebacker in a box and then they'll press right and then this is the look you'll get a lot a lot of times they're not gonna a lot of times they're gonna use her on this running back and they'll probably try to hold one of these gaps because what they're gonna do is on a snap of the ball they're gonna shoot here to try to pick you off if you're throwing that RPO right so and then they're gonna trust that their defense can make a play when you get this style of defense okay hope you're paying attention this is when we're gonna pull out our pass play when whenever you know it's short yardage you know they're gonna blitz we're gonna pull out a pass play now what we're gonna do my favorite setup we're gonna take square we're gonna put him on a zig route. Now, first and foremost, I want you to know something. So, we actually can put, we have the option to put him on a post. We have the option to put him on a crosser because he is in a slot position. But I need him on a um, zig route and triangle. We're gonna put him on a drag. Now, X, I like to put him either on a, a post or a slant. It depends on, but if we're talking about heavy pressure, we're gonna put him on a slant, okay? Slant, um, drag, zig. So, well, actually, my regression is gonna be drag. Uh, zig to slant okay and a lot of times you're just gonna make this one two read because what the user is gonna do on the snap of the ball they're gonna come down or they're gonna shoot out if they shoot out we have to throw this drag immediately so I'm gonna kind of show you what two control what it's gonna look like so they're gonna come here and then we're gonna throw that drag uh, now I, I didn't do get, get I didn't get to get any pass lead or anything like that so that's why the pass came out like funky like that but uh, that's basically how it's gonna happen now the reason this happens because what they're all out blitzing right so somebody's coming free obviously so the point of this is that he cannot get pressed because of where he is on the line um they can't get to him so what's going to happen is we're going to have this quick drag as soon as you catch this ball you see the user fly to the right you throw that immediately now i held on to it too late and i'll show you what i mean uh actually right now so Again, this is for a quick setup, okay? And I'll talk about how to beat other zone, how to beat other coverages in a second. But um, first, you just you need to understand how to beat quick man like this because you're gonna get this if you pull this play out, okay? So uh, you can throw a triangle. I just want to show you that you can throw that ball quick, okay? It's gonna be a quick read. Um, now, what's gonna start happening is your opponent's gonna start lining up in this style of defense. And then they're going to audible to something to where they're going to uh, make you think that they're about to blitz still. And they're still pressed to where it looks the same. And then they're going to play zone. When they start doing this, okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take square, put them on a, a streak. I want you to take a triangle. Oh, excuse me. Take triangle, put them on a drag. Take square. I like to put them either on a post or a crosser. Uh, normally, I like to keep them on a crosser. We're going to take X. We're going to put him on a slant, right? And then um, this is actually my favorite setup right here. Or we take triangle, put them on a zig, whichever one, um, either drag them or zig them. So this way, if they blitz, we have a quick read that we can hit. If it's a man blitz, if they play zone, we're going to have a high low between square and R1. And then X is going to do a good job of holding that user in the middle, right? So this is my everything beater style play, okay? So what we're gonna do is, okay, they play zone. Okay, cool. So now look at square and then also we could have had X as well. So this is my first play that I love. I love, love, love running this style of setup right here, okay? 
So, uh, again, what happens here is that this zig route right here is going to pull down those zones. And then this slant is just to keep the user in the middle. We're just trying to hold that user right here to make him see what he wants to do. And um, if they take anything on this left side, we're going to go ahead and hit our crosser, right? So another setup I like to do when I'm not sure if it's man or zone. So we'll go to zone right here just to keep everything simple. If I'm not sure, we're going to go ahead and press. What I like to do is actually take, um, I still like to do square on a crosser, but I'm actually going to take circle right here and I'll put circle either on a cross or a post, but I'll do a post this time. And then what we're going to do here is actually just take X right here and I like to just throw them on the drag, right? So, um, actually I'll take triangle still and I'll streak him just like this. And what ha happened here is that it's just basically if they're going to play man coverage, we're going to look for this drag first, right? Because what's going to happen is if they're playing all out blitz, the user is going to stop and cover this drag route and then we'll hit the running back if that makes sense. But if it's zone, then what we're going to do is have R1 if we want to. We're going to have a uh, circle is are going to be our main read. So we're going to have a play where we read the left side of the field and we're going to have a play where we read the right side of the field. So no matter what, we should have easy, easy reads. OK, so again, um, this is normally going to be your best friend right here if they start zone dropping. And this more so is bait, okay? So we want the user to be worried somewhere up in here. We need him somewhere up in here. And a lot of times they're gonna stay here or they're gonna stay here. And if they don't choose him, we're gonna have this guy every single time. No matter what coverage it is, we're gonna have him. Or if they're playing some dumb style defense, we'll have him. Or if they play man coverage, okay? If they happen to play man, this is a perfect, perfect setup because we have this crosser route that beats man coverage. And we also have this uh, post right here that beats man coverage right so we have a whole lot of options so anyways uh that's gonna wrap it up for this video though uh just to show you guys something real quick though for those of you guys that are still here i actually do like running this play in the goal line um it's, it does work pretty well um just because that rpo so if you want to run this in the goal line or it don't have to be the goal line anywhere inside the red zone i just i just personally like this because uh Let's say, I don't know, sometimes it'd be hard to score when you're on like the, you know, the three, four yard line because you don't want to pass. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to line up and run inside zone. So I like this as a switch up play because what happened here um, is I like to go to the RPO one just because I have more options. So let's say I go to RPO and a lot of times when you're in the red zone, you're going to get a lot of cover two. Most people love playing cover two in the red zone. I don't know why. Um, I don't think cover two is that good. But uh, I'll, I'll be basic and go cover three because you still get people who will refuse to leave cover three, right? So um, I don't know. It's just this is just a good play. I like the ID the user, and then again I could throw R one or I could just snake into the end zones because they have to choose a gap. Okay, I'm gonna try to use it on uh, a user real quick to just kind of show you because I know you're tired of seeing me on a defensive line. A lot of times the user will leave these guys out here because if you base a line. They're gonna be you're gonna be more they're gonna they know that they can give up they're giving up that screen so a lot of times they're not gonna baseline as you're gonna press to get guys over there so a lot of times they're gonna use their either their safety or they're gonna use him but most of the time they're gonna use their safety right uh, with his linebacker so what happens is I'm gonna try to play the linebacker role okay so they're gonna come here they're gonna try to fly down and then um, obviously I wasn't using them but you're gonna be able to choose what direction you go okay and again if they don't play hard flats we have the option to throw this for basically a walk-in touchdown. So that's why this play is just extremely deadly. I really think you should try this play out. It's really fun to run, and I believe that you will have a lot of success out of it. So last thing I will leave you with before I end it, because I love giving you guys as much as I can about formations, um, Saints verticals. If you're in the red zone, this is actually still a really good play if they're going to run some style of cover three, which a lot of people will, especially if they're being really aggressive, because what you can do is uh you could just hit triangle really quick a lot of times so you could just snap it uh, and then boom a lot of times you get like a little toe tap because a lot of times you can throw it inside of him now that is a super risky throw and i only do that whenever they show me that they're using this safety if i see them running cover three and i see them using this safety to try to come down on the run then a lot of times i will throw this but just be careful throwing that um and i'll show you one more time when i like to do that so this is if I see them using a safety and they show me that they're playing cover three um, and then to keep them honest. And sometimes you get people who run commit too. So this is one of those ones where, um, you know, they'll come here and then you'll, you know, you'll boom 
and you get a toe tap right there. So it's risky, yes, but high risk, high reward. But I promise you I'm done. I appreciate you guys that are still here, but that's the wrap up for this video. I do hope you have a blessed day. I'm Rage Rail, and I'm out. Thank you.